Um, I'd like to introduce you to the idea of the, the Freedom Box. I don't know if anybody's heard of the Freedom Box, but uh, it's a social networking solution, actually. If you recall how in the days of email, we had uh, internet relay chat and listserv. There were always multiple providers. And later on, with uh, instant messaging and ICQ, there was more lock-in down to fewer providers. And now, today, what do we have left? We have uh, one provider, Facebook, and another provider, Google. We have a serious situation of uh, oligopolistic olig 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 power. And the solution that we proposed from the Freedom Box Foundation, uh, I should say James Vassil, uh, to whom these uh, ideas are to be attributed, uh, the solution would be distributed social networking instead of everybody being on one social network. The general idea is to have user data on user hardware. Uh, in 2009, then, such hardware became popular. They're called plug computers. They, they use very, very, very little current, so a large number of users could have them on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and have all their data on the user hardware. Uh, the operating system would be a Debian, and there's, uh, at Debian.org, the best source of information is a mailing list, to which you can also see the archives if you don't want to subscribe right away on Debian.org, the mailing list for the, the, the Freedom Box. It's, it's all actually a response of the Debian community and others, there are hundreds on the mailing list, to a challenge pronounced by a professor of law named Eben Moglen. He's famous for actually his work on pretty good privacy, but now he's taken up the idea of uh, equipping a plug computer with, uh, with, with Debian software to pre present a social networking challenge. It would be, be also based on PGP and a web of trust. Um, there are questions now. Basically, it would be uh, Jabber and XMPP. Uh, there's a, there are, there's work going on to see if, 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 if Jabber couldn't be developed uh, for, the, for, the, for the web to serve beyond uh, instant messaging. Monkey Sphere is a question. Buddy Cloud, which uh, had a big uh, event at the uh, CCC event last summer, is, is also in the, in, in the running, as is uh, Privoxy. Uh, my own particular experience has been with PageKite, which is a service run from Iceland, which makes it easy to break into, uh, break through a router or break through a firewall. Where Two minutes. Subscribers might not be expected to be offering content. Subscribe. Internet service providers think of their subscribers as people who are supposed to consume, not produce. And PageKite makes it easy to break through, break through that barrier. Um, I have a couple of uh, dream plugs with me, which is the hardware anticipated to be used. Uh, and at the, the smaller workshop, we'll do a demonstration this afternoon of how uh, the dream plug can be, can, can be set up. Uh, using PageKite to get through and uh, show what, what is now possible. The big, the big remaining issues are uh, certificates, how one Freedom Box can uh, identify it to other Freedom Boxes, and of course, the big issue of the user interface, because the idea is to make this so easy to use for the average consumer. One minute, extend time. <laughs> yeah. I, I, okay. The web interface. Establishing the web interface is the big challenge. The Freedom Box Foundation won some money from Kickstarter, uh, but now we may have to be paying people to develop the web interface. It's such a huge challenge. Um, so I'd be glad to take any questions to know what you're really interested in, if in the, in the, the little time I have. 30 seconds. Yeah? What was the page thing you mentioned? Page kite. P-A-G-E. K I T E. It's like a kite seconds. that shows where your page is located. How much? How much does it cost? The dream plug costs one hundred thirty dollars, and uh, J JTAG is maybe another ten. And uh, uh, FedEx from California is thirty dollars. <laughs>